O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 14, Boarding the Airplane. The following dialogue is related to Unit 2, Travel, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 2.14, Tools at the Airport. 2.15, Information on Boarding Pass. 2.16, The Airplane. 2.17, at your seat. 2.18. Things to do on an airplane. In this dialogue, Ali is at the airport to board a plane. He asks staff at the information desk for directions at the airport. The staff gives him directions on how he can go to the gate. At the gate, a member of the airport boarding desk staff explains stopover flights and what to expect on a plane. On board the airplane, a flight attendant explains the various features of the plane and things he can do to pass the time. Ali is at the airport in the departures terminal. He is looking for his boarding gate but is lost. Ali walks up to the airport information desk. Excuse me, can I ask a question? Of course. How can I help you? How do I know which boarding gate to go to? This airport has a large information monitor. The screen shows time and gate information on when and where flights arrive and depart. Oh, now I see it. It is the large screen over there. Yes, exactly. On that screen, you can see the latest information on your flight. If it is on time, delayed, cancelled, or has changed gates. If you have a visual impairment or trouble reading, you can ask someone for help to read it. That is very useful. Your gate is also on your boarding pass. Can I see your boarding pass, please? Uh, here it is. According to your boarding pass, you have to go to gate 64. Oh, now I see it on my boarding pass. Thank you. No problem. Do you know where gate 64 is? No. I will give you directions. Go straight that way until you see a big fountain. Then turn right and walk until you see a sign that says Gate 64. I will go straight until I see the big fountain and turn right. I understand. It is a big airport, so it is a good idea to ask for help if you are confused. Thank you for your help. My pleasure. Have a nice flight. Ali walks to the boarding gate and walks up to the desk where a member of the airport boarding desk staff is standing. Uh, excuse me. Do you work for the airline? Yes, I am an airport boarding desk staff. How can I help you? Is this gate 64? Yes, it is. If this is the boarding gate, does that mean this is where we get onto the plane? Yes, from here we will fly to Frankfurt, Germany. And from Frankfurt, I will take another flight to Montreal, Canada. Let me see your boarding passes. You will actually take a flight from Frankfurt to Montreal. Wow, still two flights to go? That sounds like a long and tiring journey. How long will it take to get to Montreal? Well, looking at your boarding passes, once you get to Frankfurt, you will have to wait for five hours before boarding your flight to Montreal. That flight will be eight hours long. I do not think I can stay awake for eight hours. Will I be able to sleep on the plane or only between flights? The flight is long. So it is a good idea to try and sleep on the plane. There are many flight attendants on the airplane. So if you need help, you can just ask. I hope I can sleep. I have never been on a plane before. Is it very loud? It can be loud at times. Kind of like how rain or wind outside your window can get loud. But you will get used to it. Many people are able to sleep during the flight. Trust me. Okay, that is good to know. Sorry for asking so many questions. I am still a bit nervous. Do not be sorry. It is okay to be nervous. 
I have been on planes many times before. It is very safe. I think the hardest part of a long flight is having to sit for such a long time. You can pass the time by watching movies, listening to music, or playing games in the in-flight entertainment. And when you are not watching something or reading a book, you will be eating your meals, or sleeping, or getting up to go to the toilet. It is also a good idea to drink plenty of liquids. Sometimes people forget and end up dehydrated after the flight. Yes, I always remember to drink water because I have to take my medications at certain intervals during the day. That is good. If I have any questions or if I am hungry or thirsty or need help getting up to use the restroom, can I ask a flight attendant on board the plane? Of course. At your seat in the airplane, there is a call button you can push that will get the attention of a flight attendant. Oh, good. I was a bit worried about going on the plane, but it sounds like it will be a safe and maybe even relaxing experience. Yes, you do not have to do much on the plane. Besides, enjoy the ride and find ways to pass the time. Sometimes, I like to look out the window as we pass over different landscapes. The view from up above is very beautiful. The airline staff member starts calling passengers to board the airplane. After showing the airline staff member at the gate his boarding pass, Ali walks onto the plane and towards his seat. Ali talks to a flight attendant. Excuse me. Hi, can I help you? Can you help me find my seat? It says here on my boarding pass that I am in seat 37D. Great, let me help you find your seat. Thank you. The flight attendant leads Ali to his seat, 37D. Okay, now that we are at your seat on the plane, we will open the overhead baggage compartment right above your seat to store your hand baggage. Great, other than storing my baggage, is there anything else I need to do before the plane takes off? Yes. Do you see that sign above that is lit up with a seatbelt icon? Yes. Whenever this fasten seatbelt sign comes on, you have to fasten your seatbelt. There is also a chime that sounds at the same time. So for people who have visual impairments, they will hear the chime. You must fasten your seatbelt during departure and landing and when advised by flight attendants. Right next to the seatbelt sign, there is a call button. This button alerts the flight attendants that you would like help. Finally, the main cabin lights go off at night for people to sleep. There is a personal light that you can use if it is dark in the cabin for reading or other purposes. You just have to turn it on. It is totally fine to use this light, even when other people are sleeping but it is also important to be mindful of other passengers. Once the plane is in flight, it is polite to speak quietly so you do not disturb anyone else. Okay. <laughs> you can talk at a normal volume for now. Another thing to remember, each seat has a safety instruction card. It is a pamphlet to tell you more about the safety features on the airplane that the flight attendants will go over. And in your seat pocket here, there is an air sickness bag. It is a paper or plastic bag to use if you need to vomit. Hopefully that will not happen. But if you feel sick, you can call the flight attendant over. I hope I do not get sick either. What about meals though? Do we just eat them in our laps? No, each seat has its own meal tray. If you look right in front of you, there is a small latch. If you turn that latch, a tray comes down. When the flight attendant brings you your meal, you can put it on this tray. Then, when you are finished your meal, the flight attendant will take the garbage and you can put the tray back up. Okay, that is good to know. Do you have any questions before we take off? I am curious about all the children on this flight. How are the parents going to manage keeping their little ones quiet for so long? <laughs> that is a good question. I always wonder how parents manage to do it. They usually give their children toys and games, and of course the in-flight entertainment screens help keep the children busy and entertained. 
They have to keep children busy and quiet at their seats. And if they need to change their diapers or something? There is a space for that too. The diaper changing tables are inside the toilets located throughout the plane. Ah, I see. That makes sense. All right. Do you see the person standing at the front of the plane now? Yes. That is another flight attendant. They are going to go over the safety protocols and show passengers where the emergency exits are on the plane. After that, we will be ready to take off to Frankfurt. Amazing. Thank you so much. End of dialogue unit.